as any good walleye angler can tell you. It's tough to beat vertical jigging presentations when the fish are using deep water. The question becomes, what kind of jig will work best? And if you're a versatile angler, willing to think outside the box, the answer may surprise you. That's because the best jig for the conditions may not be a jig at all. It might be the erratic side-to-side -side dance of a heavy jigging minnow, or perhaps the flash and flutter of a jigging spoon. And in certain cases, the throbbing wobble and relentless clamor of a weighted rattle bait might be just what the eye doctor ordered. Especially when the water's a bit dark, the bottom is snaggy, and the walleyes are in the mood for vibration, volume, and vociferous va va boom. Like we've been saying all day, these baits work for a lot of different fish. We've caught sheephead on them, caught crappies, perch, bass, largemouth, smallmouth, and walleyes in the depths. You gotta try it. Feels like a walleye. Yeah, that's a good walleye. Oh yeah. Thumping, thumping, thumping. I think it's a pretty good one, DX. It's a nice one. Nice All one. Right. Not a giant, just a nice one. Nice enough where you ain't gonna flip her. You I think I might flipping? want a net on her. Okay. That looks like a better one now. Yeah, just enough where I might want you to net it. Easy does it. Well, get him in there. Okay, get, get him, get oh, him. There you go, okay, there you go. Okay, good, hang on. Oh, Let be me. careful there. Watch it, watch it. I'm going to take a second. There. Not a giant, but not a bad one. All right? You know, we've been doing this for a long time with these lipless crankbaits. I've been fishing them for a lot, a lot of years and doing quite well on a lot of fish, but we happen to be talking about walleyes today. And uh, generally, over the seasons, usually we were fishing them in shallow water. By shallow water, I'm talking about 12 feet or less. It works great in summer, like this, on a lot of lakes that have cabbage weeds or sparse weeds on top of flats. A lot of times we would flatline troll them over shallow water flat areas. They work tremendous in rivers. And most recently, a lot of anglers, not that many years ago, up on Lake Winnipeg, zeroed in on jigging these lipless crankbaits through the ice and catching humongous walleyes. And it's spread all over the country. Anywhere there's walleyes, guys are doing this with huge success. Well, what we started to do recently, based on a couple rumors that I heard from a few guys, is fish this bait a little bit different than we ever have before with huge results. I'm going to show you a little bit about how we're fishing this. You know, Al and I and our whole staff have been using these baits up shallow for walleyes for years and in river environments and been very successful. And about five years ago, Alex Kessler, a good buddy of ours, was up on Lake Winnipeg and he got onto a bite where he was fishing anywhere from 10 to 12 foot of water through the ice with a clack and wrap and just hammering big walleyes. And if you think about it, it's very logical. I mean, you got a huge area of shallow water and he was using these baits vertical in a little hole to suck these fish from the surrounding area and he just wailed on giant walleyes. So, yeah, you know, like everything, we're growing and taking it out into open water now and fishing it deep. Got him? There we go. Better fish. Yep. Oh, man! How yeah. I... I ain't living right. Spun around. That's how you get these big guys, Hal. Clean living. Clean living produces big sheep. Look at that. Boy, they're fun, man. I have to interrupt here a second while he's getting his sheep. Okay, I... he's, got, he's got the net. He's got the net preoccupied Look with his sheep. Look at the size sheep. of that little drum. These fish are so much fun, boy. And they pull like a truck. Cool thing about these fish, they like to eat a lot of different lures, soft baits, hard baits. Today we're getting them on, <laughs> or this guy on, 
rattle baits deep. What we're doing with this bait is really pretty simple. We're fishing it in places and depths that we would normally fish a jig and wrap. But we, we're using it with more success in dark and stained water situations. And, and what we've done for bass in years in cold water conditions with this bait, a lot of times you're casting it, letting it sink to the bottom, and you're ripping it back like you rip a jig and let it flutter back down. That's what we're doing. But here's the, the thing the, that shocked me. In an, I've caught fish so far as deep as about 32 feet doing this. I haven't fished them deeper because I haven't had an opportunity yet. Later in the season when they get down there, they will. But I've had days on this bait that are absolutely astounding. I, I mean, like I, when I first got out with that jig and wrap and seen what it can do in open water, it was amazing. Now we're not only casting, like a lot of these structures, Danny is dragging in back of me if I'm seeing fish. Sometimes we're catching fish in 22 to 26 and I'm throwing up to about 12, 13 feet of water casting and fishing it back and we're actually getting fish in both areas. But it takes a big rip. I mean, you let it sink, and it, it, that's the thing that shocked me. It goes so deep, so fast. I don't know what the parameters are, how deep I could fish this thing. And uh, of what I'm seeing so far, like I said, I was into the low 30s with great results. And uh, oh, sometimes you like that. You, that ain't a big one, but it's a, not a bad one. We'll see what I got here. What do I got here? Drum. Drum! Meow. Oh, I finally had my sheep and I dumped them. We're in a sheep hole. And, but you, you could cast it and you could pull it. And what I mean by pull, you, you cast it and rip it back like you do a jig. The key is ripping it. And you'll hear that, that thing, the bait's got so many BBs in it. It is so loud. It goes And you could feel it on the top of the cast. You could feel it working. You use it wherever you would use a bottom bouncer and a spinner, a, a Lindy rig and a night crawler, a flatline troller, crankbait, any of those types of presentations where you're fishing fish on structure, you do the same thing with this. The exact same thing. Same way we fished a jig and wrap, but we beef up the rod and reel conditions for it. I'm telling you, it is a bait that it was a real eye opener for me so far this season. And we're just a little more than halfway through it. I got to fish it for the rest of the year. But I mean, it was incredible, the results that I've had on it. Incredible. You will see and will hear more of fishing this bait this way. I'm sure a lot of other wallet, wallet guys, maybe someplace have been doing it, but I sure have never heard about it. If it has, it's been a super secret. I know guys that have fished it shallow, like we were talking about trolling and casting over weeds in that, but not in these deep water situations. And it can be so hot that if I, was the, if I wasn't in the business of telling people how to get, find, catch more fish, I'd probably keep it, especially if I was a tournament fisherman. I'd lock my lips, baby. I wouldn't say anything. Yeah, fingerling. Walleye. Walleye, walleye, <laughs> everything likes it. All shapes and sizes. <clears throat> All shapes and sizes. That's a sign of a good lure though, right Al? And you get everything bites, everything bites on it in all different sizes. That's a, that's the type of that's the type of bait you want to be throwing. It's, not, it's a key. It's, it's like the jig and wrap. Yeah. It's the same thing. That's that you reaction. Can't lose. It's that good. Yep. Catches everything. And they stay hooked real good. And that little guy. Sam Weechie for somebody, but not today. You know, the thing that makes this bait so unique for this style of fishing, look how skinny this thing is. Look how thin that bait is. Really thin. But listen how loud it is. The combination of rattle for this bait and the weight on it, it crashes really fast. It's easy to fish in deep water. Some of the other lipless crankbaits, quite a few of them, you look, look at them, are much wider. They don't fish the same in this deep water stuff where you can rip that thing and it really drops fast 
for the reaction bite. This bait has got a lot going for it for these walleyes. It's the best that I've seen of this type so far from what, we're, what we've been doing in this deeper stuff with these lipless crankbaits. You know, Bass Guy's been doing this for years. Uh, uh, striper fishermen, they do this a lot. But walleye guys, I, I mean, doing what we're doing, casting, pulling, dragging, and fishing this bait down in deep water like you'd fish a jig. Uh, there's, no, there's one. I, you got, oh, good yeah. one. He's got a good one. Like he was saying, boy, you can fish this thing from the shallows out to the depths. You know what I mean? You're cleaning that whole break. That's another good fish, man. Yep, yep, it's a good one, all right. You know, you're gonna have to net, net, I know me, that. net me, mister. I know that, I'm just the kind of guy that can do that, too. The one I just seen. Ooh. Yeah. That's the kind we come out here for, Bubba. I Good can piece. tell that head shake. I'm getting excited. Oh, she's not as big get as her, I get thought her, she get was. Get her, get her, get her. A little fat one. It ain't as go. big as I thought it was. She just Tough. was one of the tuppy. Well, that's one of those things, you know, when you're dealing with warm water fish. There we go. Boy, he was tough for a little guy. <laughs> Flip him back. But that brings up an interesting point. You know, it's midsummer, and the water temperature is about at its peak. And that tells you a couple different things. That means that the fish's body temperature is at its peak, and that means their metabolism is at its peak. So these fish are aggressive. You know what I mean? They're walleyes are predators, just like a lot of other fish. They got big teeth, and they like to eat. We're just putting, you know, aggressive baits in front of them. Boom. Got him. That's a nice. Wall. Yeah, that's a wall. All right. All right. Got him. That's nice. A yeah. That's a wall. All right. You can tell that the walleye, yeah, not, not a bad one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There's some in there. You want me to net him? No, or? no, I just left him in. I think she's tail hooked pretty good. Oh, that work. There's no sense in netting them if I don't have to net them. They like it, I'm telling you, they truly, truly, truly like it. And it is one real fun way to catch fish. You know, anytime you can rip jig with a bait like this. The interesting thing to me is you feel everything from the top of the cast, you know, and, and as I rip it back, you could feel the whole thing go, and then it glides down like this and goes, you, you feel that bait work. And uh, the, the thin body of the different lipless crankbaits that we've played with to do this with, you know, this is the best on the deep water jigging. We had a single knocker for years, one of the better uh, baits for shallow casting and retrieving for us uh, has been uh, clack and wrap. It's a single knocker bait. And while I really liked that when we were up shallow, but it didn't quite rip jig the same. It's a much wider bait, much fatter bait than this. You know, these lipless crankbaits, they, they, some are silent, some got a lot of noise in them. And then you got singer, the single knockers. In this dark water and jigging, rip jigging in this darker, slightly stained water that we're in now, noise is a big factor. That's a good thing. You know, this style or this family of baits are, are a guide's dream because they're rather simple to fish for novice anglers when they come out and do, do this type of fishing or casting up onto the shallows. But um, the one thing about these baits is they got a lot of flash they got a lot of sound and they got a lot of vibration and they're kind of like fish magnets. You know, when fish are sitting down there, they can see it, feel it, and uh, hear it from a long distance and fish just are attracted to it. You can see how simple of fishing this is. I mean, we're pretty much just lawn mowering water. Al's got that four track set in about 30, 40%. He's got it on continuous. And I just sit back here and rip, let it hit the bottom. Rip, let it hit the bottom rip, let it hit the bottom. But that troll motor just gets it at the right speed. That .8 is about perfect for this depth that we're in right now. Look how easy this is with the Hummingbird, the Sonic system. Two fingers, swipe, now you set, boom. Now all of a sudden I got my depth, map, and my speed on here. But you can save a ton of different presets on here so you can easily access a bunch of different features. 
got him. It feels good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Barn burner. Yeah. Not a bad one. I got. I can. Oh boy. That may be. I'm not sure if it's fighting like a walleye. Whoa, whoa. That warm water, they're pretty tough, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, I know. I, I, I mean, he he don't want to come up. I don't know if it's one of them drummies or not. I think it's a big, oh, it's a big walleye. Big walleye? Yep, big walleye. A netter walleye. Okay. Absolutely a netter walleye, Dan. That felt so good. He almost hit it under the boat. I was catching kick, kick, nice fish. Ooh. He was cleaning the, oh, there you go, Al. Look at that, beauty. Yeah. There we go, Chief. Swinger oh, there here. you go, Al, boy. That's a nice one. Whoa, 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 whoa she whoa. just threw the bait. That's all perfect. right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, come here, baby. You got her, you got her. I got her. All right. Okay, you gotta get, dig the bait out of here for me. You know, if you haven't tried uh, 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 reaction baits for walleyes like this, you're missing a boat. Whether it's ripping hard baits like the ripping wrap or the jigging wrap, which we've been using for years, it is truly an amazing, amazing presentation. And it triggers fish when live bait only gets a few. You could have days with these reaction bites that is absolutely incredible. You gotta give it a try. You gotta add this to your bag of tricks if you're a walleye fisherman. You know, walleyes, like a lot of predator fish, follow the food, whether it's shallow or deep. And last year, Al and I were out on a lake near here, and we just drilled the walleyes up on the shallow flat. I mean, we had them pinned down. We crushed these fish. But the interesting thing is, we were fishing with the same style of rod, same action. The action of the rod is the key. It's a medium action. You need a little softer rod. And that's true with all walleye fishing, a rod that's a little bit more forgiving not like a bass, a bass fishing technique. And uh, uh, in this method of fishing here, even rip jigging these in deep water, the bait casting rod is key. You know, 12 pound test, but it's, you can't do this with a spinning rod. The nature of the bait, the way you're ripping it off the bottom, bottom the way you're fishing it, it's gotta be a bait casting rod. So this rod and reel setup and line setup works for shallow water out to deep water fishing. This happens to be a smoke seven foot medium action rod and we got the Tour MG reel which is like a feather weight in your hand. I mean you can do this when you're fishing like this it could get tiresome but not with this setup. It's like a feather in your hand. Got him? Better fish. Tell me something. I don't know what it is. It's a fish. Big. That's a big walleye. I guarantee it is. I'm gonna hit Mark. I could tell that. I could tell the way the rod is going. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Snaking. Doesn't feel like a pickle. That's for sure. You can tell that head shaking. It, it's one of the big old walleyes. Where I got to come back and dip your fish. Mm. Yeah. We could she's, have a. She's a whopper stopper, ain't she? Pretty big fish. Doom. Nice fish. <laughs> Look at that rod just. I sent the hook and I thought I was snagged on a piece of wood or something. <clears throat> See the color. This do not horse in a row like that. Nice. Whoa. Big walleye. Nice, big nice walleye, eyeball. Al. Yeah, I see it. Big eyeball. Oh, the hook just popped out. That's the kind we come out here for, Bubba. Get her in here. I got her, man. There we go. There Look at go, that man. size of that thing, Al. That good one. is a brute, boy. Let me get the hooks out of this bad boy. Boy, that fish fought like a, a world champion. <laughs> Look at the size of that fish, boy. She fought like a, like a real trooper. Like we've been saying all day, these baits work for a lot of different fish. We've caught sheephead on them, caught crappies, perch, bass, largemouth, smallmouth, and walleyes in the depths. You got to try it. Hey, if you're a regular viewer of The Edge, you know I reference the close with something from God's Word, the Bible. Most people really like it, but there's some that don't. Let me read something to you. This is from Sean. I just watched my last episode of your show. 
Stop preaching, Al. Bible segments at the end of the show is sickening. I love my fishing, family, fellowship, but I don't believe in God. Most educated people, especially with a science background, don't. I'm also a combat veteran and avid hunter. Before you belittle my opinion, perhaps use that segment to discuss barometric effects, weather conditions, moon phases, and how they contribute to a successful day on the water. Or more tech tips, knots, braid, boat positioning, maintenance, battery, trolling motor, trailer, anything but that silly fantasy that has nothing to do with angling or with one having an edge. Hmm. We don't get too many of them, but I do get a few. I want to read back to you my response when I get something like that. Hi, Sean. I would never belittle your opinion. I'm a big believer in freedom of expression, even if I don't agree with it. The Edge TV show has been on the air for 10 years now with excellent ratings. Every TV show has its own format. It could be sports, news, entertainment, reality, sitcoms. From day one, The Edge has closed with an inspirational close that reflects my beliefs, my opinions. Have a great fishing season, and thanks for your service. Freedom to express yourself is part of what we both served to maintain. God bless, Al Linder. Anybody ask you, or you want to know why I close the way I do? I just answered it. Hey, from all of us here at the Edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets.